A society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they shall never sit in. The miracle that is the state of Israel today is the product of the investments that Jews have made into the JNF for the last 115 years. It's our turn, our responsibility, to invest tonight in making David Ben-Gurion's dream of making the Negev not only bloom, but to flourish and helping the people of Stevot secure the frontiers of the State of Israel. We acknowledge the resilience of Sterot's 25,000 residents in the face of Gazan rockets and admire their choice of hope instead of despair. But most importantly, we resolve to support them in a meaningful way, these brave citizens that support all of us in ensuring a strong and secure Israel. JNF Australia is proud to support the establishment of a major parkland precinct for the city of Storot. Thank you for joining us here tonight and helping to secure the future of our land and our people. This evening, we also have the opportunity to acknowledge Israel's unsung heroes, the many operatives of Israel's intelligence services who quietly ensure her security, often at great personal risk, both at home and abroad. You are giving Israel something that's very important and unique. The project in Sderot is not a regular project. I think the investment that you are doing in Sderot will bring Sderot people, Sderot capabilities, to the top of the Israeli society. And that's due to your contribution to Sderot in all the projects that you are doing there and in the Negev. I really could never imagine a job that was more perfectly suited for me than when President Obama said to me, Dan, go to Israel, represent us, work closely with Bibi on Israel's security and on the pursuit of peace, speak to the Israeli people in Hebrew, take what is a strong, productive, mutually beneficial partnership between our two nations and make it better and stronger and more productive. Now the work of JNF Australia is actually improving the lives of Israelis in truly inspiring ways. Australia has been and is a great friend to Israel. You should be proud of that. And it's your passion and your advocacy that helped make it so and helps keep it so. And your generosity, including tonight, is making a huge, huge difference in the lives of many Israelis. Fifty years since Israel's victory in the Six Day War, 70 years since the partition plan, 100 years since the Balfour Declaration, and just a few days ago, 120 years since Theodore Herzl convened the first Zionist Congress in Basel, Switzerland. And of course he founded the JNF just a few years later. If you look at the sweep of the last 120 years, it's the dreamers, it's the visionaries, it's the activists, and the pioneers, and yes, the heroes that have prevailed. And thank God they did. And they made real Herzl's vision. Im Tirtsu, Ein Zawagada. If you will it, it's no dream. Now it's up to all of us to help Israelis carry the dream forward for the next 120 years. Thank you for all you do to support Israel and keep it strong. <laughs>